What's up guys? Today I am back with my most requested video ever, my everyday makeup routine. Let's get started. Starting out with a moisturized and primed face, I apply my foundation. For this tutorial, I'll be using Revlon Colorstay. The brush I'm using is my new Japonesque mineral face brush, which I have been loving so far. For somebody pale like me, it's super important to blend well, especially down past the jawline. I cannot stress this enough. I apply a little more foundation under my eyes. I have pretty dark circles, but I find using a concealer kind of gives me a reverse panda eye effect, which is kind of terrifying. Using my Sigma E60 brush, I apply NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'll apply this over my blemishes, hyperpigmentation, and redness. Pretty standard stuff. To set all my base makeup, I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. That's a mouthful. Next up, one of my favorite parts, filling in the eyebrows. I'll be using my favorite eyebrow product, Anastasia's Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. I begin by using a spoolie to brush out my brows, then using the pencil end, I draw a line beneath my brows. Then I draw in the outer points and I connect these with the lower curve, and then I draw in an upper line and just fill in any sparse areas. I'll use the spoolie again to blend it out. Sometimes I'll use my brow drama over the top of this, but today I just don't think I need it. And in case you're thinking that my left brow looks darker than my right brow, wrong, it's just the lighting. Moving on to my eyes. For this, I can use either of my Naked Basics palettes, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna be mixing and matching both. Using my MAC 224 brush, I build up my base color. I begin with a light application of a nude tone. Then I add a medium brown tone. For this tutorial, I'll be using a blend of both Frisk and Cover. Next, taking a dark brown shade such as Faint on my MAC 217 brush, I apply this right in the corner of my eye and I work it up into the crease. Now I'm going to add a darker color to the corners and lash line. I'm using the shade Crave on my Sigma E30 brush. Then I basically just blend and blend away and continue to add this darker pigment until I'm happy with how it looks. Whatever shadow is left on my brush, I will run along my lower lash line. Taking my Sephora eyelash curler, I curl my lashes as best as I can, even though I kind of still suck at it. And next I apply my favorite mascara, which is Blink Amplified Tubing Mascara. It is truly the only mascara that doesn't flake and doesn't give me panda eyes. It's so easy to remove as well. I don't know what I was doing with my life before using this. I add a decent coating to my lower lashes as well to both define them and create that ultimate dolly look, which is always what I want to achieve. Using this $1 eyelash comb from eBay, which is actually excellent quality by the way, I comb through my lashes to separate any minor clumps. And now the eye look is done, yay. To add some color to my cheeks, I apply my Big Shocker here, yep, e.l.f. blush from the Blush and Bronzing Duo. The brush I'm using is Bare Essentials Angled Face Brush. I place it on my upper cheeks and temples and then blend away. The next part I find so satisfying for some reason, removing all that foundation and powder from my lips. For lips, I apply some lip balm first. I'm using Paula's Choice Lip and Body Balm. I'll be applying my favorite lip pencil, which is Bobbi Brown's lip pencil in the shade Beige. If I feel like adding a bit of shine to this, I'll add a little bit of Chanel's Rouge Coco Shine in the shade Boy. For highlighter today, I'll be using Too Faced Candlelight Duo. I sweep a little highlighter onto my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and sometimes a little more in the inner eye corners, but with a smaller brush. And sometimes the cupid's bow too. Are we done? I think we're finally done. And there you have it, my completed everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to hit the like button if you found this tutorial useful, or maybe even plan to try this look out yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.